Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Beijing in its no mood to de-escalate, it wants India to accept the current status quo at the border. India stated that the unilateral attempts of Chinese side to alter the status quo and in violation of the bilateral agreements have created a problem in the border areas and that Chinese side did not propose any forward-looking proposals to resolve the problem. The signal from Beijing is quite evident. It is unwilling to vacate even at the cost of going to war or changing the format of bilateral relations. We may even witness fresh incursions and short conflicts across the LAC. The next one month is going to be very crucial for China as after that the winter will be at its peak and it will be impossible for them to maintain good numbers of troops or attempt any incursion. At the same time, India is keeping its arsenal ready as a deterrence. We have recently seen the test of Agni P and Agni 5 missiles and how Agni 5 has disturbed China as it covers each and every Chinese city. Last year, the government had given its note for induction of the Shor missile which is going to be again a big worry for China. The missile has been deployed at locations identified by the Indian Strategic Forces Command under the guidance from National Security Council. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the Shor missile and why is it important for India. Shor is a canister launched hypersonic surface to surface ballistic missile developed by DRDO. It has reported range between 700 to 1900 kilometers. The missile is capable of carrying nuclear as well as conventional warhead varying from 250 kgs to 1 ton. It is also speculated as the land version of submarine launched Sagrika K-50 missile though officially it has been denied by DRDO. As the missile is a canister launched, it has more shelf life and requires less maintenance. The missile can remain hidden or camouflaged in underground silos from enemy surveillance or satellites till they are fired from the special storage cum launch canister. The missile encased in a composite canister is mounted on a single vehicle which has only a driver's cabin and the vehicle itself is a launch platform. This single vehicle solution reduces its signature. It cannot be easily detected by satellites and makes its deployment very easy. The gas generator located at the bottom of the canister fires about a second and a half. It produces high pressure gas which expands and ejects the missile from the tube. The missile can reach the maximum speed of max 7.5 even at low altitudes. Back in November 2018, it crossed the speed of Mach 5 as it crossed the distance of 300 km. What is unique about this missile is after taking off and reaching a height of 450 km, the missile starts flying like a hypersonic cruise missile. Once it reaches the target area, it maneuvers towards the target before striking with an accuracy of 20 to 30 meters within the target area. Its hypersonic speed and maneuverability is what makes it unique ballistic missile and at the same time less vulnerable to anti-missile defense systems. To be precise, it will give adversaries radar only 400 seconds to detect, track and intercept before it hits the target. Shor missile is also cheaper and faster than BrahMos missile which is another added advantage for India. India is rapidly increasing its missile strength. It has already deployed nearby subsonic cruise missile, BrahMos supersonic cruise missile and Shor hypersonic missile giving India all the options of using various weapons in advent of need. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.